first 3D machine we had was a Caterpillar D6N, which had the Trimble 3D capability on it, the systems on it. We engaged with SciTech at that point, who were very informative for us in the early days and helped us understand the systems. If you haven't been using those systems, they're very complex. We bought an engineering technology with a sort of like an engineering department who would understand the engineering, I'd understand the machine side, and collectively we've grown that sort of professionalism within the company. Bill went on to the first D6 we had, and that machine was actually at the time we could do 2D, 3D and UTS and the UTS system is uh, second to none for final trim. So we had that machine, we then ran that for about uh, 12 to 18 months and we thought we need to get into the excavator market now. With Owen and myself and SciTech, the guys are very informative at SciTech, I must say uh, the backup is brilliant and we sat down with them and they, they made a difficult transition for us quite easy. It made us understand the systems. If you initially have the systems in front of you to start with, it's mind boggling. So I think that is where the standoff is, but we met up with SciTech, so I want to go on to the next step, which is another five machines, which we just invested in, two D5Ks and some 320Fs and uh, a 312F but we've also put on to a JCB131. We've working with SciTech and we've met with them over the last few months many times. We've had training sessions ourselves. It has been made easier as it's gone on, as we've absorbed it. Basically, the QS departments are now going to get involved as well because they can see the gains of it. Because you can do the cut and fill volumes from business center. You know, I can send the designs over TCC. You know, you've got vision link as well. But now I've actually absorbed it and you've absorbed the information I've actually utilised with SciTech, all of their guys, and they've helped, and it's, it's starting to drop in. You find when guys who have come from a university background, or they're an, an engineer, they've found the information to be a lot easier, a lot more fluid, because they've been brought up with it. That's the technology they've been using. But for someone my age, it's just a little bit harder to absorb. But nonetheless, once you've got it in, it actually does start to get easier. And, you know, with the guys at SciTech, we get a problem, we ring them, bang, and they can't ring us back, they ring us straight back, we get, we get that support. So, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. And all I see it happen now is just based, hopefully, in the next 12 months, with the QS department now getting involved as well for doing the measures and being able to get the volumes and being able to get live updates to the machines on sites through TCC and Vision Link equally. I mean, we hopefully will see a difference in our turnover in 12 months time because there are going to be less people on site. The good thing about the system is that if you've got the dozer which is working in a 2D format, that's with the lasers, which you could change it from U to UTS, which is the final trim, which is working through the SPS 980, the robotic with the prism, and you can run that with about 20 minutes. You swap the dozer over. It's literally that, it's 15, 20 minutes. And if I wanted to run UTS for an hour and a half, I could then come off UTS and go into GPS. As long as I've got a VRS through the modem in the machine, or uh, if we've got multiple units on site, we go G on a base station. And all three of those, so 2D, UTS, and GPS, could all be, you could run the, over a four hour period, you could swap and change in 15, 20 minutes. So the versatility is fantastic. If I'm not using GPS on the dozer and I got an MS995 goes down on an excavator, I can take it off the dozer, I can put it onto the, onto the tracked excavator. The CB460 could be interchanged as long as the software programs are, are updated um, every year. Um, so all of the equipment can be changed around between the machines and that makes it very versatile. You know, it's not impregnated into one machine all the time. I can just pick it up and move it around and not all using GPS, then you might have an issue, you might have to hire it from SciTech. I can ring SciTech now, tomorrow morning, it'll be on the doorstep. You know, it, it's that quick, the, it's UPS, bang, it's in the next day. So the hire backup is, is very good. I would say if you're starting off, that for me was to take the guys somewhere they could physically see the machinery, work the machinery rather than looking in books and just go there and, and SciTech will set that up. And then if you're working close with SciTech, they will, you know, it just, it's very mind boggling to start with, but you will find the engineers, but if you've got a, if you've got a, very, uh, if you've got a good team of people, like I've had Owen, who, who's, uh, who's doing the engineering side, I've come from the machine side, and I've got good operators, collaborating together, all three of us, all four, five or six of us involved in it now, have kind of bounced off each other and working with SciTech and Finnings, that's how we've done it rather than just being around one person, trying to tell everybody the information that well, they need to know, and that's how we've progressed it, and it's worked for us. Mm -hmm.